Hey everyone, RG here and welcome back to a brand new Sims 4 speed build on the channel. Welcome, welcome my friends. I hope you're all doing amazing. I hope your week was awesome. If, if not, I'm here to try to make it a bit more yippee. So let's get started. And for those of you who are curious to know what, why we are not on the on the law that you saw the build on in the in the intro of this video is because actually we're gonna start heavy by creating first the dumper track i think dumping track i think that's the name or that's the term to use in those type of uh of trucks and for those who are curious to know why we are not on the original lot that you saw at the beginning of this video it's because i created this truck first and then i what i did i placed it inside a room and i dump it See what I did there? <laughs> I dumped the truck, the dumping truck, into the lot that we're gonna, well, at the end, the, the building is gonna be on. And I wanted to create this dumping truck as, as an accessory or like, uh, you know, as a prop item inside that lot, just to give a bit more uniqueness and character to the build. Um, now, uh, as you can see from the, uh, from the thumbnail and from the title, we're gonna create a civil designer home. And I thought that, as the name suggests, they should live, like the, the civil designers uh, should live in some sort of a unique build. They're not supposed to live in a four walls and a gabled roof on top. They should live in a very interesting build. So what are we gonna do, and you're gonna see that in a bit, while we are watching, I'm, I'm just gonna give you some information uh, about what you're gonna see in, in, in a bit. So. They will, the civil and designer, not engineers, designers, gonna live in a tower of shipping containers. And I know, I know many people already did something like this, but what I try to do in this build is actually to create those um, shipping containers. I, I stuck them one on top of each other. This is basically a tower of shipping containers. And you're also gonna see one of my cranes that I created previously in one of my builds. If you wanna see how I made that crane, that uh, loading crane, you need to go and check the uh, freelancer career or freelancer sharing space build that I, I shared to you not too long ago, I think um, one month ago. So go and check that video also. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. You can see how we created the uh, loading crane. So um, what I did here, I kind of stuck up together shipping containers, placed that crane near so it kind of looked like the crane uh, stuck them together uh, to create some sort of a tower of shipping containers and inside I tried to even keep the containers untouched. Not exactly, you're gonna see in a bit what I mean by saying that, th that I didn't touch them. I tried not to cut them in the middle. I did try to create each container to be its own room. Um, but I did something to kinda, kinda trick the eye, and, and you're gonna see in a bit, I don't want to spoil the whole fun in this build. At the end, this is gonna be a very um, different, unique design for home. Um, and in real life, I, I do wonder if you can do something like this in real life. Probably you can, um, but uh, in The Sims, it's always fun, you know, to, to build something that is a bit different, it's not, four walls and a gable roof on top, as I said before. So this is gonna be it, okay? And now, for those who are not familiar with the civil designer um, career, you know what, let's start off by which one of you already played or playing right now a civil designer um, sim? Do let me know in the comment section down below because I do curious to know how popular this uh, um, career is in the game. I think it is, uh, like, my guess is that many people playing it or played it in, in the past and kind of enjoyed it. If you're not familiar with it, it's kind of one of the most profitable jobs to have in the game. If I remember right, I think it's 31 simoleons as a starter job 
and at the end, if you go, you do have two branches that you can go uh, from that uh, career. One of them is Civic Planner and the other one is Green Technician. And if you go with the branch of Civic, Des not Civic Designer, Civic Planner, <laughs> I think it's about 14,000 simoleons at the end, uh, like per week, which is quite profitable job, let's face it, people, 14,000 simoleons per week. And that, without taking into account the fact that as a civil designer, you can use the fabricator to create items. So yeah, at the end, it's quite a profitable job to have uh, in the game. And I think it's even one of the most fun fun of them to play. So do let me know which one of you uh, do play the the civil designer uh, career right now or played it in the past and what do you think about it now you can see that i'm creating um <laughs> right now what this is one of my favorite parts of this uh dumping truck those are supposed to be like it's supposed to be the big uh container at the back that well basically dumping the things that the truck carries so i kind of use the dumpsters from the eco lifestyle pack and I rotate them a bit, so they will look. It will look like the truck is uh, dumping a bunch of. Uh, I think it's uh, it's sand over there and some rocks. That's what's gonna be at the end. What, that, what, what I'm gonna use in in the build. Moving on, as I said, we are now in the, the the location that the build is gonna be basically, or where I build it, and we are still in evergreen uh, um, in the evergreen map. This is this, this is still the same map. We didn't move. I just moved the location of the lot. Now, as you can see, I'm stocking up containers, as I said, and. On, on the side, you can see the crane that I told you that uh, if you want to see how I made it, go and watch my freelancer sharing space um, uh, build that I shared uh, not too long ago. You can see exactly how I made it. This is not custom content, people. This is something that you basically can have in your game just by going to that video or that build that I created and shared. And um, you can see that I stuck up those shipping containers in crisscross uh, shape or design. And do let me know what game, old game, this is an old game, it was one of the inspiration for the design of this build, because I don't know why I came across that uh, old game in, I think it was Pinterest on, or, or maybe Google, I'm not quite sure, it was maybe an ad, and then I said to myself, wait a minute, why, why should I take that inspiration and I create a build from it? So, do you have the game in your brain right now, in your head right now? Do you know what game it is? I think it's called Blocks. I think that's the name of it. And basically, it was an old game. I, 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 I think, I do believe that we still have it on, like, you can still buy it. Uh, it was basically placing blocks, literally placing blocks of, of wood, um, three in a row, and then you take the second level of, of blocks on top of the first one, you turn it 90 degrees, and the third one you turn it another 90 degrees, basically you're putting them like crisscross, you know what I mean? And then you're supposed to pick some of them from the tower, and the idea is not to, to make the tower drop like you on your turn you're supposed to keep the tower alive let's call it <laughs> but uh yeah i really love that game and it was one of my inspirations for this build and as you can see i told you that i dumped the dumping truck into the build and uh, there you go you can see it over there on the right side of the corner at the end many of the items here or many of many of the things that you can see in this build meant to give a bit more character to the build and uh not necessarily be functional i told you at the beginning like not at the beginning of this video at the beginning of my channel <laughs> that sometimes it's okay to build something that it is only for the look of it it's only to add beauty to it for an example if, if you if you wanted to drop this uh, metaphor to real life sometimes not sometimes but all the cars out there they do have different colors right you don't need to have different colors for cars it's only cosmetic thing right it's only for the look of it there is no something good coming from that color um all cars can be white 
uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that, that that the color will make the car perform better. It's just to to you know to add some more character to the car. So sometimes it's okay, even in the scenes, people, to build something that is not usable. It's only to add something to the build. Many times I, I see a lot of people sometimes. I said too many words that are not really working together right many times uh sometimes always anyway <laughs> anyway i i've saw a lot of people creating builds and they are making the space kind of empty they are not adding something around the build and it kind of give the feeling of something is missing in the build so do that people do that build something that is not necessarily gonna be functional or usable it's only gonna add beauty or or um you know that details that will make the build pop so after we establish that point <laughs> we can move on and we are actually at the end of the process of making the exterior of this build now uh in a bit we're gonna move into the in inside of this build the interior and you're gonna see what i meant by creating those containers and trying to maintain the containers uh feelings and there we go we are in it so the first container right here you can see it is the yellow one yellow ish yellow one and as i told you i didn't even use wallpapers to change the the colors of the containers i really want um and i i try to keep the feeling of living inside containers uh shipping containers so i'm gonna work with the the containers as they are like the, the exterior of them is going to be the inside of them and the only thing that we're going to do is to uh, furnish it and create the uh, living space um, and I will not touch the walls. I will use some hanging paintings and uh, some objects that will give the feeling of um, civil designer living in here like uh, blueprints you're gonna see a lot of them scattered around and some working space that kind of look messy with a lot of documents and stuff like that you're gonna see that in a bit again don't want to spoil you the whole fun of, of watching this building uh, being created and um, one thing that I want to to let you know is that if you don't have the eco lifestyle pack it will be uh, a problem <laughs> i don't have a, a nice way to say it it's gonna be a problem people it's gonna be a problem because i heavily used it and right now by the way you can see how i tricked let's call it tricked the uh or, or i tried to trick your eyes um to give you the feeling that the containers are still one piece um but i kind of divided them i used those i think they call ceiling railings uh, the one that you can see over them, those yellowish beams, they came with the werewolf pack, and I think they are one of the best items or best things that we got with the werewolf pack. They came with all the colors of the container uh, wallpaper from Eco Lifestyle, so you can match them. And I kind of did it over here. And another thing that I want to let you know is that the um, clutter kit used here heavily. Okay, and I, I kind of love using that kit, so I highly recommend for you people, if you are a builder, this is a must pack. I do believe that they brought that kit eight years um, too late, <laughs> but you know, we are still gonna look, you are on my channel, and on my channel, we are looking on the bright side. We are looking on the half glass full and not the half glass empty. So we got that kit now and we're gonna use it heavily definitely in my build you're gonna find me using it probably on every build from now on i'm gonna use that uh, um clutter kit so i highly recommend for you to get it if you want to have it uh or you want to have those tiny details those tiny deets in my build in your game uh again not sponsored i'm not part of ea um how they called i uh, streaming community i don't know uh, what's the name they they, they change it a few times um not sponsored not anything i just recommend for you to get it because it's totally worth it okay and yeah so this is more of the living space and where was i i was trying to explain to you how i use those uh beams to divide the the containers i think i managed to kind of do that do let me know if if i managed to fool your uh your eyes and it, it still look in your eyes like the containers are still 
uh, one long containers and they are just a bit separated from one another with those uh, railings because that was the whole idea. Again, I told you I wanted to preserve the container's shape. Do let me know if I managed to do that. Now, another great news for you out there who are watching me creating this build is that um, you do know, if, well, those who are not new in the channel, and if you're new people, consider subscribing to the channel for more builds just like this, and don't forget to hit the like button and hit the bell notification button so you won't miss my future builds. But after I said that, <laughs> for those who do follow me um, or you know, hanging around for a long time now, you do know that I'm not a big fan of creating rooms for kids. I don't do that because usually I don't know what uh, type of family your sims got, right? And I don't want to create, for an example, a kid for a boy and you have a girl. So I usually I don't do that, but I do leave some spaces for your sim uh, to expand in this build. So, and this is the biggie, because of the way I build this build, you do have 12 containers. 12 containers, people, you can expand seven more rooms. You do have two more uh, uh, floors uh, on top. I even, I think I even left one of the, one of the container uh, on the third floor connected to the second one with uh, stairs. It's not the normal, the usual stairs, you know. I did try to play with stairs in this build and it's kind of, kind of, narrow because of the, the shape of the containers and I told you I tried to keep the containers untacked and, and, and not touch them if I don't have to so I use the letters in this build and kind of it kind of feel a bit more fitting to this type of build use the letters so yeah you do have letters between levels in here so if you want to utilize you do have two more floors to use as containers and you can expand your family and build whatever you want if you want to add I don't know some more rooms for work do that be my guest and right now you can see me creating the master bedroom and again over here i did try to use and and cut the container in a way that it isn't really cut but uh, but i can fully utilize the space over there and again i use those ceiling railings i think they called uh the bluish one just to open those containers and have enough space for the sims to move between the sides of or around the the the, uh, the double bed and yeah that that way i kind of you know kind of created a bigger space yet i try to keep the containers untacked or or not really i didn't really break down those walls between them. Now, one small kind of funny thing that you might find in this build, and you're gonna see that in a bit, I created another working space, and it's really in front of the double bed. <laughs> now, the working space, I think it's called the, the working station, and it's where you can scalp and, and create um, like wooden objects and it's kind of funny to have it over there uh, just think about it one is sawing logs sleeping and the other one is sawing logs <laughs> literally I, I think it's, I, I kind of find it funny but I kind of liked it the idea of, of doing that so uh, so yeah you can see it right there over there so you do need to have those items in order to be a um, like a civil uh, designer, so I made sure that you have them all together. Now this build is at the gallery for you to download and enjoy if you want. The cost of this build is around 100,000 simoleons, depending on where you're gonna place it. It's a 30 by 20, which is not a big build, and I really do hope that you're gonna enjoy it. So the tour is about to start, so I will highly appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more builds just like this, or maybe go binge watching my channel, because if you love this one, you're probably gonna love some other things that I did over the years. And until the next time, enjoy the tour, and I'll see you again in the next video. RG out!
Remember your blue, you're not.